Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with a foundation wear test, actually a foundation concealer combo from Becca. I got this in the mail a couple weeks ago and I wanted to try it out for you guys today. I actually tried filming a main channel video yesterday in my photo room. I was just trying to do a really chill, get ready with me, chatting with you, and it just, it didn't vibe. You know, like this is the makeup area that's more fashion so when I do like fashion videos or just like random ones I'll do them in there for makeup I just love this setup so much more it's more professional and I can really see everything anyways it feels so crazy to be in this chair filming a makeup video again but I'm really excited about it because I have missed it so much Mason's downstairs my mom's watching him while I do this video and like get it started anywho we're gonna do a full day wear test so I have these new foundations but I also have a few other products I wanted to try so I have this Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder for under eye and face. It's a soft focusing light diffusing loose powder. I've been wanting to try this for a while. And then I have this collab with Catrice and Inman. Inman? Iman. I think it's Iman. And there's a blush palette, an eyeshadow palette, and a highlighter palette. I probably won't be using the eyeshadow palette just because I don't really have time to work with eyeshadows today and test it out. But these are super pretty. Actually all of these palettes are but I really love the colors in these. It's like a great to-go palette. It has everything you need. And these all have mirrors in it, which is great. So this is a blush palette. It is so pretty. Oh, it says live what you love. That's so cute, like right in here. I love all these colors. These are my kind of tones. And then the highlighter palette, I'm really excited about too. There's a lot of really great shades in here that I can't wait to test out. So we'll just be trying out a couple different things today and seeing how they wear. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this foundation wears on my skin throughout the day, as well as all these other new products, then let's just go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair back. It'll just be so much easier than trying to have clips in. And I'm gonna go ahead and prep the skin. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer Water and then the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer as well. These are just my go-tos. As you guys can see, I still have eyelash extensions. I think I'm obsessed with them. Now that I have found someone who is really good at eyelash extensions, and does the style that I want. I am obsessed with them and she's so good. She's so good. I honestly just love waking up and having fluffy lashes. It just makes everything so much better. That's probably part of the reason why I haven't put on a lot of makeup, minus the fact that I do have a newborn so I don't really do a lot of makeup, but I still love having the lashes on. It's just so easy. We're gonna get started with this new foundation from Becca, so I'm really excited about it. I think I'm gonna be the shade Olive. So I have Olive and Khaki here and then I do have the concealer in Banana here as well. The foundation, let's see, I pulled it up. Also, Sephora is having a sale right now. I'll leave all the info down below. I just got this notification when I pulled up my app. If you're a Rouge member, go get that discount. The foundation is $44. It's in 41 colors and it has four stars and it has 2,024 reviews. And this is a new foundation, holy crap. It says it's a buildable full coverage foundation featuring up to 24 hour humidity, sweat, water, and transfer resistant wear with a natural finish, which is super important to me because I don't wanna get foundation all over my newborn because I have them up to my face a lot and I'm like kissing them a lot. It says skin type is for dry, normal, combo, and oily. It's a liquid, natural finish, full coverage, free of sulfates, SLS and SLES, parabens, polyethylates, mineral oil, coal tar, whole bunch of stuff. It's also cruelty free and gluten free. 97% of customers stated that it instantly provided full coverage without a heavy look or feel. They also stated that it instantly provided undetectable natural finish. I'm interested to see how this wears. I'm really excited. I love trying new foundations and then we'll get to the concealer afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. This is the bottle. They are in a glass bottle. They're super, super pretty. So you take it off and you have a pump. So this one is khaki, like I said. And today I'm just gonna use a sponge. If it doesn't look good with a sponge, then I'll just use a brush as well. That's khaki right there. I think that's the shade I'm going to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to apply this all over since my primer has set in. So I'm gonna scoot you guys in and we'll get started. So I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge. We will be applying it first to the right side to see the coverage. That color is like actually spot on. I think uh, maybe this has SPF in it because this smells like SPF to me. It kind of smells like the pool. That is the perfect match for me. Dang, I did good, finally. 
Ooh, my first like makeup review back and I got me a foundation that matches really well. Like, dang. Don't expect this every single time though. <laughs> because online shopping for foundation is so hard. This is a before. If you're new here, I do have rosacea and I don't self tan my face. I put a little bit on, but not much because I it's like I exfoliate anyways. But this is on my rosacea and then this is after. It looks more of like a satin finish as well. Like it's not super matte or anything. And it definitely isn't heavy on the skin right now. That looks really good. And this color is just so perfect for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply with my sponge. Mm, kinda keeps a little bit of a glow to your skin, but not much. I do have oily skin. I have sensitive skin as well. I don't like dewy foundations. I wish I did. Cause I love the way they look on other people, but for my skin type, it's just not. And where I live, it's a super hot climate, so it just doesn't work out. I don't have filters or anything on my camera. I know some people think people do that. I don't know how people have filters on their cameras. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It does feel a little bit sticky for sure. Like I definitely have to set this. I cannot let it go. I feel like if I didn't set this, it would totally transfer everywhere. I don't know if you have dry skin though. If you have more oily skin, set it. If you have more dry skin, then maybe you can get away with it, but it feels sticky to me. Now I'm going into the concealer, which is $29. Like I said, I have the shade Banana. 213 reviews, four stars. This is a water resistant full coverage concealer that camouflages under eye dark circles, blemishes, and discoloration while smoothing the look of skin's texture. It says it's supposed to blur the appearance of pores, fine lines, and uneven texture. Hmm, we will see, because I do have texture in this area. So the foundation did not bring that out at all, thank the Lord, but I do have rough texture due to rosacea and just rough texture in general, and I do have larger pores. But if the foundation also does not emphasize it, that's even better. And concealer can totally emphasize texture if it's just like the wrong consistency. It just will look a hot damn mess, you know what I mean? This is what it looks like. This does match the foundation, it's really cute. And this one's just a few shades lighter than khaki, so I think this might be a really good color. We will see. It does have a doe fit applicator, so I'm just, ooh. I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, that feels so thick. At first I thought it was the doe foot and not wanting to move. The doe foot is super stiff, but this is super thick. Okay, we're gonna use that and then blend it out with the sponge. I don't normally go for concealers this thick. I would be shocked if this didn't show texture. I really didn't put that much on. I just kind of spread it out. Oh, absolutely not. Oh my. I'll do less on the other eye, but I hope this blends out really well. Oh yeah, this looks awful. Like the foundation looks great on this side and then the concealer just made this look like crap. Okay, I'm gonna take whatever's left on my sponge and just take it over my lid. So far, I don't love the concealer. Now that I've blended it out a little bit more, it definitely looks better, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how this wears because it, it definitely looks a little bit cakier for sure, but it brightened up the under eye a lot and did conceal like it says. Let's apply a little bit less on the other side and see how that goes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a line from here, there. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this down my nose as well since we have some product on there. Here and here. I'm gonna make sure I really blend this out with my sponge and get just any excess product off just so we can avoid any creasing. This eye already has a little bit of a crease right in here. I don't know. You guys probably can't see it, but there's a little crease in there. So I would definitely set this concealer. I think this side looks better than this side though, because I did use a little bit less product. Now I'm going to go ahead and set it with this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I think I got this off of Nordstrom forever ago and I just had it in my drawer in my like new makeup to try. This is what it looks like. It's a fancy smanchy powder. It does have one of those packages where you can close the sifter, which is always nice. So I'm gonna take my sponge. I'm so interested to see how this looks. And we're gonna set under eye and then move on to the face. I feel like that lightened up the foundation a little bit. This is the shade of the powder. Like I said, I don't know if this has multiple shades, but I'll leave it down below in the description box for sure. I feel like I need to do a wear test this weekend because we're going to a PGA tournament. It would be like the perfect time to try a new foundation, but like I also don't want to try foundation and it just go completely bad and I look like a hot mess. I definitely think that looks good for sure. I think it's a nice smooth powder. It doesn't look cakey at all. Kind of looks like nothing on the skin really. I don't know what happened over here, but it looks like the concealer or something just 
didn't blend well. I really love the L'Oreal Infallible one, the Full Wear. This one is like my favorite concealer right now, as well as the Givenchy one that I've been using if you've been watching my videos recently, like the ones before I had Mason. I was using a Givenchy concealer and it is so good. It looks really natural. It's expensive, but it's really beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the skin and i'm going to be using this makeup obsession give me some sun bronzer palette you can get this at target i'm just going to use this one to bronze this one to contour this is an elf brush by the way the airbrush stipple and i've been really liking it for contour just because it has like these really tiny hairs can you guys see has like really tiny bristles at the top and it just honestly blends so well. Oh my God, who saw Kylie and Chloe's drunk makeup video? Oh my God, it was so funny. Chloe cracks me up. Now I'm going to take that collab blush palette. This is Catrice, so it's really affordable. And I love Catrice, I love a lot of their stuff. I'm gonna take this one just cause it'll go with whatever I'm wearing. I love all these colors too. Like I love a bronzy blush like this. This one says you are gold, baby. That's adorable. These are super pretty. So I'm gonna take Surrey and a little bit of Whistler too, which is the lightest shade. Those are really pretty. And then I'm gonna take a little bit down my nose. Blend that out, upper lip. I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of the bronzer that I was using and I'm just gonna throw that into the crease with a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 240S. And I'm just going to lightly dust that in. I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. And I'll also set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Night Summer Solstice. So I will be right back, give you guys a time update and then we will go throughout the day. My makeup is set into place. Like I said, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Solstice. And then my lip color is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This is a matte liquid lipstick in Nudist Peach. So I have that on as well. And then for my brows, I just use the Benefit Precisely My Brow in number three. That is it. That is what I have on my face. And so far, I think it does look good. I just think... I do think the concealer looks heavy. I don't know if I'm gonna be obsessed with it, but the foundation I actually really do like. Not including the highlighter, I think the foundation did give a good glow to the skin. So I'm interested to see how it wears throughout the day. Like my forehead looks really good right now. I like the way everything looks so far. I love the color of the foundation. I love the coverage, everything like that. I'm just not obsessed with the concealer. So right now it is 9.54. I'm gonna go throughout my day, get stuff done, and then I'll be back to update you guys in just a little bit on how this foundation is wearing. I'm back with a midday update. I have a special guest, my little boy Mason. See, I'm getting so big now. Right now, it is 4.54 p.m. I don't know if you guys can see that. We actually just got back from a little walk to the mailbox. It's not too far, but we did go on a little walk. It was super hot outside, and I've been wearing this foundation all day. I have not touched it up. Yeah, do you like it? Do you like my foundation? You don't know? You wanna see it? Do you like it? You really look, you know. Does it look cakey at all? Or does it look really smooth and pretty? What do you think? It hasn't transferred on you, so that's good. I've been wearing this foundation all day. I haven't touched it up or anything. I think it looks really good. It actually has a really natural glow to it. I think if I was out and about all day, I would not like it. I think I would be way too greasy. But other than that, I think it looks really good. It does have a really nice shine, minus my T-zone and like my forehead where it's like super shiny. But it doesn't feel heavy. It has not transferred onto him so far. I think it's going really strong and it does feel pretty lightweight. I love the way it looks in videos and also in photos. So that's good. Ain't that right? Yeah, high five. High five. High five. Yeah, big boy. You can't cry when you give me a high five. Oh, I love you. We'll keep you guys updated and we'll see you in just a little bit. It is around 10 o'clock and I know that because, well A, I don't have my phone right now. Where can I put Mason down? So it's like 9.45 or something like that, but it's definitely later in the evening. And I wanted to give you guys an update on this foundation and kind of wrap up this video. This is what it looks like at the end of the day. 
and I think it looks pretty good. I definitely think it gives more of a glow to the skin. I do think it looks pretty healthy and it doesn't make my texture look really insane. I don't think, I mean, I could use a blotting sheet, let's be real, and I could add some powder to it. Actually, let's do that now. I could definitely use that if I'm out and about, especially if I'm out in the heat, I can definitely use blotting sheets. But other than that, everything has stayed on. I have my blush, my highlight, my bronzer, all of it looks really good. My forehead still looks really good too. The concealer is a no for me, but the foundation I really do like, especially that shade khaki. That's like my perfect color, and I'm definitely going to be wearing it more as the days go on and giving you guys a different update at a later time, probably like in my monthly hits and misses. So I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm just going to kind of pat and dust this directly in my T-zone because that's where I get super oily. I didn't notice any transfer on Mason. I, he, his head was kind of like rubbing up against my cheek here. Nothing's worn off and nothing was on him. That's really good. I didn't notice any transfer on clothing as well because I think I changed like, only changed once. <laughs> only changed once, but I didn't notice any transfer or anything like that, so that might be true. It's definitely full coverage. It seemed to stay in place no matter what kind of sweat I had going on because I definitely did sweat when we went out and walked to the mailbox. I know the mailbox sounds like it's right outside, but it's up the street a little bit. I do think it looks really good and it looks really good when I was filming downstairs as well with the vlogging camera. I just really like the way that it looked and it does feel lightweight on the skin. So I give the foundation a two thumbs up. I think it's great. I think it's one worth trying. You can go get a sample. I don't know if they have this foundation at Ulta but they definitely have it at Sephora and you can get a sample at Sephora. So if you're wanting to try it but not splurge, definitely go grab a little sample and test it out. They do have a lot of shades. But the concealer, I would say, is definitely a pass. These new palettes right here are beautiful. The highlighter palette and the blush palette, I think they're beautiful. They look really great on the skin. They don't emphasize texture too much. And the highlight is really pretty. Like, it just melts into the skin. And everything, like I said, lasted really well on top of that foundation. So... These are awesome, and I think you should definitely try them out. So I do love the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but I also love a lot of drugstore powders, like this Pacifica one. This is the Cherry Velvet Matte Translucent Setting Powder. And then the Makeup Obsession Pure Baked Banana is not bad either. It's a little bit darker, but if I had to pick, this one is definitely my favorite and one worth trying. And then if you want to try another kind of higher-end powder that's not Charlotte Tilbury, this Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder is really good as well and it's actually a translucent powder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really happy this foundation worked out for me. Um, the concealer I'm okay with. I could pass with that. Let me know if you guys have tried this foundation down below in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see next and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!